This example uh, is on exponential smoothing, which is different than um, moving average and weighted moving average, but still in the same category of uh, um, a good technique for um, a time series that only exhibit random behavior, no seasonality, no cyclicality, and no trend. So uh, again, we're uh, looking at the same example, January through October, with the same numbers uh, like we saw uh, for the moving average and weighted moving average and the error analysis. And um, a, we are asked to uh, do forecasting for November uh, with exponential smoothing. So uh, the target is to find uh, uh, the November. Uh, forecast for exponential smoothing. So what is the forecast for November in exponential smoothing? Now with exponential smoothing, uh, it's uh, very different. Um, the uh, formula for exponential smoothing is F T equal to F T minus one plus an alpha uh, multiplied by uh, the error from the previous period. Alpha is a number between 0 and 1, strictly between 0 and 1. So uh, because if it is 0 or 1, then it, it doesn't make sense. You can calculate it. If, it is, uh, if alpha is 0, then uh, uh, what is that? That's the previous forecast. And if alpha is uh, 1, you can calculate what that would be. That would be the naive. So, um, uh, so looking at it, uh, translating that into words, you're saying F for the next period is equal to F the previous period plus this alpha number uh, multiplied by the error of the previous period. By the way, alpha will be given to you. Again, uh, this is um, uh, something that uh, people spend a lot of time calculating, just like the weights in a weight moving average, and you're not expected to know it or uh, to calculate it in this class. Okay, so, uh, so we're assuming in this uh, example that alpha, we're going to use an alpha of 0.3. And uh, the other thing that uh, is given to you also a starting point, um, a, but we'll talk about that in a minute. So uh, if we need F uh, uh, November, according to this example, F November is F11, right? Uh, because these periods 1, 2, 3, you come to October 10, November is 11. So if we want F11, then we're saying F11 is F10, which is October, plus 0.3 times the error of period 10 of October. So uh, to forecast November, we need the forecast for October plus the error for October. But do we have the forecast for October or the error for October? No, we don't. Okay, so if we want the forecast uh, for uh, October, according to the formula, that's a forecast for uh, uh, September plus 0.3 times the error for September. Do we have the forecast for September and the error for September? Again, the answer is not. We don't. So you're seeing where this is going. If we want the forecast for September, uh, we need the forecast for uh, August plus the error for August. So this is this is going to where obviously we need to keep going up, 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 up until you can give me a starting point. Uh, because I can't get to November until I get to a starting point, starting forecast. Once I have a starting forecast, then I can calculate the next period and the next period and the next period until I get to F November. So this is the purpose of having an F starting period. So in this example, um, the F starting period 
uh, we're using F2 uh, for being 120. And usually uh, they use uh, for uh, starting period. If you are not given a starting period, you use the naive. Uh, that's what uh, others do. So, for example, you're not given a starting period, then um, all I can do is use naive. Uh, first actual period was 120. What's the naive? 120. So I'm going to use an F2 of 120. Okay. So this is considered a starting forecast. But uh, a starting forecast can be anywhere. It can be June, July, August. Uh, doesn't have to be that far back. Uh, especially on an exam, uh, if, if uh, I, all I want to know is, uh, do you know how to calculate an exponential smoothing? Uh, I won't give you 10 periods uh, because the error may be very high. Uh, uh, and so I will give you maybe one or two periods just to see that you can do the calculation. Anyway, uh, let's see how this goes. So, uh, uh, unlike the previous techniques, this one you start at the top and you make your way down. So, there's more calculations. Uh, so, uh, the next thing, once you have the forecast, you're going to calculate uh, the errors. So, if uh, we find, if we know that F2 is equal to um, a 120, then what is E2? E2 is A2 minus F2. That would be 90 minus 1, 20. So what is that? Minus 30, correct? Actual minus the forecast. So now I'm ready to calculate forecast 3. Forecast 3, according to the formula, is forecast 2 plus 0.3 multiplied by error 2. So that's going to be forecast 2 is 120 plus 0.3 multiplied by the minus 30 we just calculated. That's 120 minus 9, which is 111. Okay? So, again, now I have 111. So, here we can put the error next to it. Uh, this is, uh, we got minus 30. And so um, now we calculate 100 minus uh, um, uh, 111, that's minus 11. And we keep going, right? So now uh, let me calculate uh, for April, what is F4? Well, F4 is, and we can write, we're running out of space down here, but we can write it here. F4 is F3 plus 0.3 times E. 3. Sorry, we're calculating F4 is F3 plus 0.3 times E3. Correct. So I should have put it on the next line. Okay, so F3 is 111 plus 0.3 times minus 11. Correct? So that's 111 plus 0.3 times minus 11. So what do we get? We should get 107.7. 107.7. Okay? Let me check. 0.3 times 11. Yep, that's correct. Okay? So, I should have put that on this line right here. Okay? Um, because it matches the fourth period. Okay, what is uh, 75 minus 107.7? It is negative 32.7. We'll do one more and we'll put it on the right line now. So now what is F5? F5 is F4 plus 0.3 times E4. So that would be F4 is 107.7 plus 0.3 times negative 32.7. So that's going to be 97.9. And so on. Uh, the error here is 12.1. Now it's positive because 110 minus 97.9 is positive. And so you keep going, you keep going, and the answers are on the
a spreadsheet. I'll just go ahead and write them down. And so when we get to the very far, uh, last one, um, we can calculate now, we can calculate what F11 is. F11 is F10 plus 0.3 times E10. So F10 is 100.8 plus 0.3 times negative 10.8. And that's what's going to give you 97.6. So your forecast for November is 97.6. And that's uh, using exponential smoothing. And this is what I meant by a lot of calculations to get only to November, uh, a, a, because your starting point was in February. But if you have uh, a, a starting point in August, for example, then you have only a couple of calculations. We didn't have this issue in moving average or weighted moving average. Um, we went back and calculated forecasts just so we can do error analysis. Here in exponential smoothing, uh, we had to do it. We had no choice. So this is exponential smoothing.